I'm Tim Youngins, and I'm the owner and founder of Mamanopoli Pizza. My first job growing up was working in a pizzeria. I eventually went into music and uh, audio and recording and sound. Um, it always just stuck with me as something I wanted to do. I wanted to have my own pizzeria. What happened was um, when I first moved to Las Vegas, first thing I did was, you know, I gotta find some good pizza. So I stumbled upon Metro Pizza and we're like, wow, this place is awesome. And uh, we noticed from his little flyers that he has, you know, his monthly flyers that he uh, has a pizza class. And so my wife and I were like, well, let's go to the pizza class, that'll be fun. So we went and uh, we made pizza and John was kind of like, oh, wow, you kind of know what you're doing. It was always a goal of mine to have a pizza business, not necessarily an immediate goal at the time. My name is John Arena. I'm one of the co-founders of Metro Pizza in Las Vegas. We had a food truck that we used to launch our bakery, but we had the advantage of being able to play off of the reputation of our pizzeria, which is very well established in this city. Every type of business has its own unique challenges. So the, the food truck business comes with its own pluses, which are mostly, mostly related to startup cost issues. It's cheaper to build a truck than it is to build a bricks and mortar building in some cases. Um, but the challenges of, having, of trying to launch a brand when you don't have a platform can be really daunting. And the first thing I thought to myself was, well, I need an oven. I need a good oven because a home oven, not really what I want to do. Uh, some of my favorite pizzerias were wood-fired. So I started looking for a wood-fired oven and stumbled upon one uh, on Craigslist that was mounted on to the back of a trailer. And the ad said that they were doing farmer's markets. I said, that's genius. I can do that. I can do it on my days off. So I looked into it and, you know, health code requirements at the time were very strict. So it turned out that I needed to be fully enclosed. So I kept looking, found another uh, trailer, except this time the oven was inside and it was fully enclosed. I, I thought it was great. I went out and looked at it and it wasn't exactly what I wanted, but it was close. So I hired the guy who had made that as a consultant and he basically gave me his plans and I tweaked them and built my own pizza trailer. I really liked doing the farmer's markets, like when we first started out, like there was a place that I could be every Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, so I was looking for a similar kind of thing, you know, uh, because I'm not in a truck per se, I'm a trailer, there's a little bit more effort into moving around. So I like to try and stay as close to one spot as possible for as long as possible. Um, so I've found that, you know, the craft brewing scene has really, you know, blown up and a lot of the breweries don't have food. So I teamed up with um, a couple local breweries and I'll go there on Sundays and we'll park there and people will load up on pizza and have a tasty beverage and it's great. We have really good branding, you know, we come up with a great logo and a good name and I try to get that out there. I think for me, like traditional advertising almost doesn't work. It's really a direct to person marketing strategy using Facebook. Um, we're probably gonna get started on Twitter soon, but I think that that's the only way to go for us. It's like we've gotta put pictures of great looking pizzas on there uh, and get people to come wanna try them. Well, the great thing is I can be anywhere at any time. So that's, that's an advantage for sure because I can you know, market myself with other people. So I'm getting the advantage of the breweries that I'm visiting. I'm, you know, they're advertising for me on their page. So all of their friends are you know, becoming my friends and my friends are becoming their friends. And you know, it's a great thing. The other thing that I think is an advantage is I can test neighborhoods, I can test areas out. You know? And if I decide, okay, I'm gonna go in a brick and mortar, I wanna put it here. I could probably go and see how things go in that area, work something out, and that's gonna give me data and information and you know, I can try things before actually just opening a brick and mortar. I can have full recipes, I can have, you know, training materials, everything that I possibly could want, you know, my food cost analysis is completely done and ready to go. So there's so many details that I've already gone through and figured out before I spend the big money in putting a brick and mortar location together.